Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today bringing to you a local distillery just up the road from Toronto in Vaughan is Last Straw. This bottle collaborated on by my good friend Rob Whiskey in the Six, where they came up with the mash bill and the char level on a uh, refill ex bourbon cask from Wild Turkey Distillery. It's three years old, it's bottled at 56% ABV. How did they do? I'll let you know when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. This was distilled in a bourbon style mash made up of 70% corn, 20% rye, and 10% barley. Like I said, uh, matured in a recharred ex bourbon barrel from Wild Turkey Distillery, uh, coming in at three years old, and like I said, 56% ABV. Uh, let's see how this is on the nose. This thing is like a weird kind of Frankenstein hybrid whiskey where it's got uh, American bourbon style elements and Canadian style elements into it all at once. The nose, lots of caramel, lots of vanilla. Uh, you expect that with that heavily recharged cask. It's like this like cherry, like licorice note in here. Lots of brown sugar, cereal, maltiness, graininess. You get that like Canadian, like cream corn uh, note that I get with Canadian whiskeys a lot. There's fruit elements in this, there's like cooked pear, like grilled, grilled pear, cooked pear kind of note. Definitely um, a lot of um, oak, char, like barrel influence for sure. There's even like floral notes and like, it's like buttery popcorn note too. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on with this nose. This is a very complex nose, uh, very enjoyable for sure. Yeah, lots of stuff going on with this. Um, I'd say the balance is a little wonky, but you might expect that. But yeah, love the nose for sure. Uh, let's go palette. Lots of sweet notes, lots of spice notes for sure. So you get lots of those caramel vanillas carry over as you'd expect. Um, there's a really nice like black cherry note that you'd get in bourbons. You get it in here. And the spiciness, cardamom, a little bit of cinnamon, uh, lots of like heavy peppers, um, lots of wood uh, influence as well, lots of oakiness to this. Again, um, really enjoyable sweet and spicy elements for sure. Again, the balance twisted but this thing is just this weird like bourbon canadian hybrid mash um it, it kind of works in a way that it's it's super unique like this is like nothing that you've tried before um it's pulling elements and styles um from both canada and the u.s um that like heavily recharged ex bourbon barrel bringing in lots of sweet flavors lots of uh, vanillas caramels of course and uh, yeah, this whiskey is great. Um, I tried uh, a cast sample of this that Rob had. Um, came out of the barrel, I think around 71-ish percent ABV. Way too hot to drink at that ABV. They brought it down to 56 for bottling, which I think is actually a perfect bottling strength for this. Uh, when we were trying, we were adding water and uh, they decided on 56%, which I thought was great. This thing still takes water well, so you can still add some water to it opens it up even a little bit more, brings out some more, even more spices. So this thing is a spice bomb. It's a caramel bomb for sure. So yeah, spiciness, even more like peppers, well, black pepper note coming off of that. Um, this was the first time that I believe that Last Straw has done a bourbon style mash before. Um, I think for the first time they did a great job. So of course, obviously, uh, my honest opinion of this, Rob, good friend of mine, Last Straw, uh, really cool distillery, great group of guys, um, great family that, that, that runs that. Um, but of course, my honest opinion, love the nose, super complex. Again, balance is off, because you're getting these weird uh, elements um, that are from you know different styles, uh, Canadian, bourbon style, uh, American, um, it doesn't necessarily make this like super refined uh, whiskey. It's it's this weird hybrid uh, uh, Frankenstein of a beast, um, but it's interesting and it's great. It's a great uh, bottle just to drink because it's uh, completely educational. And uh, I think that 
what they've done here is something kind of really cool and really unique. Um, Score-wise for me in this one, um, I'm giving it 82 out of 100. I think that's a very uh, good score for, for what you're getting here. A three-year-old whiskey, um, first time a local, very small Asturian style uh, distillery doing a mash for the very first time. I think this came out great. Like I said, the balance is off, but it doesn't really take away from it because you're, what you're getting here is just this kind of like uh, experimental, hybrid, uh, interesting whiskey um, with a really high uh, rye, rye uh, intake. If you compare it to uh, bourbons in the U.S., 20% rye is, is pretty is pretty high. So yeah, really cool experiment. Uh, really awesome to get um, whiskey in the six label on a bottle. I think that's so cool um, for something that's three years old and noses this well. And uh, it does drink very, very well. Again, the balance, but who cares about the balance with this? This is uh, this is a Frankenstein of a whiskey, and it's uh, it's powerful and it's uh, it's good, really nice. So yeah, there you have it. Um, um, these things are selling out quick. I'm not sure if there's any left by the time you'll see this, but you can check uh, Last Straw Distillery if you're in Ontario. They'll ship it to you. Uh, link in the description down below. So let me know what you think. Um, typical Canadian style is that they made. They distill each grain separately and blend it together. Uh, they don't do the bourbon mash here in Canada um, typically. But let me know, what do you think? Should Canada start doing more uh, mashes uh, and producing whiskey that way? Or do you like how they do the separate, you know, uh, corn, rye, uh, wheat, barley, and then blend that together as one whiskey? Or um, would you uh, like to see more Canadian distilleries kind of do the bourbon style? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, guys, have a good one. Cheers.